1.7 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin was just moved from a Darman wallet on chain. So get ready for some sell pressure and that's it. Back to Winnipeg. Bitcoin, crypto, morning tea. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name's Piano Matty B. That is Scaramucci. This is your morning TA. A brief glimpse of the crypto market where the sun's shining, where the wind's blowing. All the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni bring on the data. The FOMO index has inched down to 30 from yesterday's 31. Bitcoin dominance is 56.2%. 24-hour volume is 63 billion. The overall market cap, 2.14 trillion. Give or take a hundred million. <laughs> well, we had what some legacy analysts would call a little pump or maybe refer to as a breakout of sorts. Yesterday, after a tight little range to nowhere, price action flexed its green oompa-pa and started pumping first up to our bull flag breakout target of 60k where we were ejected by the 20 moving average but she persevered and fought through the headwinds breaking out and over to test our channel of eternal monotony's resistance picking out at 61.6 and has lost the battle down to a time of production 6 60.8. Now, what I don't want to see is continued bearish pressure that takes us back down to retest this bull flag breakout level, which we'll now refer to as a channel of dissension in the loving arms of the 20 moving average and potentially the 50 moving average at 59.5. What I would like to see is a retest of this resistance level up at 61.7 and then maybe throw a desperation retail wick up to the 200 moving average at 63k. Alas, that $1.7 billion worth of Bitcoin that was moved on chain will act as a bearish sword of Democles. As we push higher, it may be the exit liquidity that this whale will be looking for. So don't be surprised <laughs> if we see an initial pump followed by a substantial dump. Not saying it would happen today, but you don't. Move that kind of gauge out of your wallet and then buy. So keep that in your back pocket. If the FOMO starts to pinch, real probably. <laughs> now, if we want to take the bullishly delusional stance on this move, we could look at it as a spoof job, where some whale is just moving the Bitcoin to disperse back into other wallets. We've seen it before. We'll likely see it again, but at the end of the day, we'll never really know. <laughs> And in six months, we won't really care, no, remember. It's just a big deal on a nothing day of the summer doldrums. But perhaps it's a reminder to get outside and give your papers a rest. <laughs> and enjoy the summer doldrums. Not hope it ends. Enjoy the weather and enjoy not really caring because there'll be lots of time to care. <laughs> After the bull run, when we see the return of the bear, you know, like 
12 months from now or so, nothing crazy. That's not, let's not get too crazy about it. It's, 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 still, it's still summer on it. And look at that. The sun's up. It's another beautiful day here on planet Earth, a day none of us are guaranteed. We're not guaranteed these days. Yeah, we're lucky enough to have anyway, so get out there and knock them dead. And remember, we're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected leaves. And that's right, it's the long game. So some out and have a fantastic day. <laughs> And we'll be going live right away, so grab yourself a coffee, join me for a quick one, and by all means, sing it with me now. Or on the banks of Boom to Spang, Bitcoin, Crypto, Morning Day, hey, whoa. Make sure you like and subscribe.